All right, uh, we're here. We're delighted to be joined by Her Excellency, the Vice President of Costa Rica, uh, SP Cabo. Welcome to Ghana. Thank you very much. I, I feel at home uh -huh. and it's so important for us as people of African descent being here and make the bridges, the necessary bridges between the motherland with we in that part of the world. You know, this decade is the international decade for people of African descent. How, what, what is the magnitude of it? Do you think Africans understand the magnitude of this? I think that um, we are not reunited as people of African descent with, with the people in Africa. Then when we're talking about the decade, most of the people here don't understand what happened with us exactly. in all over the world. Yeah. And um, because we are a lack of human rights, because we are in the left behind in our countries, in a lot of, all, in all the world, it is um, uh, uh, an achievement dedicated for people of African descent that have three bases, recognition, justice, and development. And um, we are more than 200 million of people outside the continent. Yes. And most of them living in poverty mm -hmm. and exclusion, mm -hmm. don't have the, the minimum rights. Mm -hmm. And that's why the importance of the decade. Right. But also, if we want to build a new era for mm -hmm. the Africa and the people of African descent, mm -hmm. we have to build it together. Yes, it, it is. It is the only way. Right. And and that's why the decade and um, conference against racism and racial discrimination, 21 years ago, and also the movement that uh, start and because of the of the death of George Floyd mm -hmm. and also because of the systemic racism against us in 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 the continent mm -hmm. it is so important that we link our agenda as people of African descent Absolutely. with the agenda the whole agenda of SDG, Sustainable Development Goals. That's correct. Okay, final question. And I know you're busy. When we, when in Africa, when we talk about the, uh, the diaspora, people of African descent, it seemed to me that the, the Ameri those in America get a lot of the attention. But southern, southern part of America on the Caribbean, there's a lot of people of African descent that about two or three times yes, more than most, US. Yes, mostly the people of African descent in the continent is in Latin America and the Caribbean. Right. Because we are there almost 160, 70 Absolutely. million of people. Mm -hmm. Only 30 million, only not, because it's a lot of people in the in, in, in US and in Canada. Mm -hmm. But most of the people of, um, of people of African descent we are living yes. in that part mm -hmm. and uh, and and because of the history we don't have a lot of forms to mm -hmm. link us with with the continent mm -hmm. we don't have a lot of academia mm -hmm. looking looking and research a lot what we are doing now and what are our history but I feel that this is an opportunity to reunite us yes. not only with the continent but also as a people in out of Africa right. as, a, as a real diaspora and um, I so grateful with this country with Ghana and also with um, with the UN as a special key Right. to reunite us, to have this forum, the, the, the reunification forum, and thank you a lot, Ambassador, for receive us. And I would, I would give you the uh, final word on this. You had a lot to do with putting it all together. What does this mean? Well, what it means to me is that <laughs> this is what it really needs to mean, is us coming together and uniting. And we are so proud of who you are and thank what you've you. done, and just know that you have our support. Thank and you congratulations for being a pioneer. You were there before Kamala Harris. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> thank you very much.